All right, what's going on, y'all? So today I'm going to be covering my entire off-season training split. I'm going to be going over the days of the week, the movements I use, the reps, the sets, everything with it. Um, I've been using this split for the last two to three months or so, and the gains on it have been absolutely incredible. Um, currently, I'm sitting at 257 pounds, so um, we're up quite a bit from just a few months ago, um, and a lot of it is due to this training split. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that typically I like push-pull legs variations. So my most popular one, the one I love the most is push, pull, arms, legs, rest, repeat, or push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, arms, legs, rest, repeat. This is somewhat of a variation from that. Um, I have tested bro splits. You know, I did a bro split during my last contest prep. Um, frankly, I didn't like it very much. Um, you know, one thing I think that bro splits are really missing out on is frequency. Um, and the split I'm going to give you all today covers everything you need. You're going to have, you know, the proper intensity in place, you're going to have the volume, and you're going to have um, really good frequency to bring up pretty much every body part. Um, so this is what I've been doing. So uh, Monday is push A. So push A is chest, shoulders, and tries. Tuesday is pull A. Um, that's back and buys. Wednesday is legs, and this is a quads focused leg day. Thursday is rest day. Friday is push B. Um, so chest, shoulders, and tries. Um, and then Saturday is pull B, and that's hamstrings, glutes, and back. Um, so it's a little bit of a, a variation from push pull legs. Um, this is, you know, this the split took me quite a while to brainstorm. You know, I took a few days um, and really kind of moved things around, trying to, you know, one thing you gotta really work on when you're building out these splits is you're wanting to, you know, find the perfect combination of, you know, volume and frequency while it's allowing you to still recover in place that you can have the frequency but you, or the, the intensity. But you also have to pay attention to the, the subtle nuances like, you know, is there going to be too much lower back loading? Um, so where you put movements in um, is really, really important. And I took a while to brainstorm this split. Um, and like I said, for the last two to three months, this split has been working out insanely well. So I'll go ahead and cover each individual day for you. So <clears throat> on push A, it starts out with incline uh, Smith machine press. And this has um, three working sets. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I do high intensity bodybuilding. So um, it's reverse pyramid training. So I'll do, you know, my warm ups that I'll build into my top set and then I'll work down from there. So I'm not going to cover warm ups for y'all, um, just the working sets. So I've got a top set um, and that's a rep range of six to 10 reps um, and then two back off sets. So three total working sets. Um, and they're just straight sets, no intensity extenders on this. Um, the back off sets have a rep range of eight to 12. Um, so we've got inclined Smith machine press for the first movement. Second movement is a flat hammer strength press. Um, so just a flat machine press. Um, and I've got two uh, sets on this. The rep range on both sets is eight to 12. Um, but the second set, the back off set is a drop set. And it's just a single drop. Um, so, you know, I'll go to failure and then I'll drop the weight down for me, you know, this last week I dropped it down 50 pounds for the back, or for the drop. Um, so that's movement number two. Movement number three is pec deck. Um, and this is three total working sets, rep range of eight to 12. Um, the last set is a drop set as well. Um, fourth movement is dumbbell laterals. Um, and I've got three working sets on this rep range of eight to 12. Um, and then I do a double drop on the last back off set of that. Um, so go to failure, drop the weight down, go to failure with that, and then drop the weight down again, go to failure with that. Um, the fifth movement is um, overhead shoulder press. Um, and that's using a plate loaded machine, um, hammer strict machine. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of dumbbell shoulder press once you get to a point. You know, early on in my career, I loved it, um, but now it's just honestly too much work to, to swing the dumbbells up. Um, I much prefer using a machine. So I have two um, working sets on this. Um, rep range on the first set is six to 10. Rep range on the back off set is eight to 12. And then the back off set has a rest pause set. So I'll go all the way to failure, um, rest for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then try to rep out you know three or four more reps. Uh, movement number six is machine laterals. Um, and I've got three working sets on that. Uh, rep range of 8 to 12 on all of them and then also a double um, drop set on the last one so same thing with the dumbbell laterals um, you know you've got a, a double drop on that last one, last set 
Um, movement number seven, um, this is now getting into triceps. Um, it's a dip machine. So this is a plate loaded dip machine. This is really, really kind of my heavy movement for tries. Um, you know, this could be interchanged with some heavy skull crushers, um, but I really like using a dip machine. You know, I really feel, you know, a lot of my arm size has come from this. Um, I do three working sets. The rep range on this is 10 to 15. Um, and then my eighth movement, the last movement of the day is um, cable tricep push down. Um, and I've got three sets um, with the last set being a um, single drop. Rep range on this is 10 to 15. So that's my push A. Um, and I'll just go ahead and tell you now, push B is essentially the same exact thing, except movement number three, instead of pec deck, is cable flies. And it's with the same exact rep range. All right, so pull A. This is on Tuesday. The first movement is single arm lat pull down. Um, and with this, I've got two working sets, rep range of eight to 12, no intensity extenders. This has really, really brought up my lats. So, you know, out of every um, pull down movement out there, I think single arm lat pull down where you're just using a regular handle, um, this is, you know, gonna build your lats more than anything else in my opinion. You can just get such full range of motion with it. Um, so I do two working sets with that. Movement number two is cable rows. I've got two working sets with this. Rep range of eight to 12. Um, the back off set is a rest pause set. Uh, movement number three, two working sets. Um, this is cable pullovers. Um, so I'll get a um, easy bar, a W bar, um, and I'll do pullovers on the cable with this. Pretty heavy, uh, but I've got two working sets on that. Rep range of eight to 12. Um, the back off set has a uh, rest pause set. Um, movement number four is low rows. Um, same thing here, two working sets, rep range of eight to 12. Um, and then the, the back off set is also res pause set. Um, movement number five is reverse pec deck um, for the rear delts. Um, this has two working sets, um, rep range of eight to 12. The back off set is also a res pause set. Uh, movement number six is shrugs. And I do this on a plate loaded machine. Um, you can do this with barbell, you can do this with you know Smith machine, but I prefer the plate loaded machine. Um, I do three working sets on this, rep range of 10 to 15, no intensity extenders. Uh, movement number seven, this is getting into biceps. Um, I do a bicep machine, so you know, depending on what your gym has, this could be a preacher curl machine, this could be um, you know where they've got the, the cable handles, uh, but I do three working sets on this. Um, rep range 10 to 15, um, and then the, the, back off, the, the last back off set is a single drop set. Uh, movement number eight is cable curls with also like a, a W bar. Um, and I do three working sets on this, 10 to 15, um, and then also a drop set on the last set. So then Wednesday, Wednesday's the quads focused leg day. I go in there and I'll warm up with leg extensions. I'll do three sets with this, but this is uh, you know just 10 to 12 reps. These are not really working sets. This is really just to promote blood flow um, into my quads, get them warmed up, because then movement number two, the first real movement, um, I've actually changed out doing hack squat to barbell squats. Um, it's been a while since I've had barbell squats and my split, I wanted to add them back in and my legs are growing um, much quicker than they've, they've been growing in a while. So I do attribute it to the barbell squats. I'm currently using a safety bar squat or a safety bar. Um, and I do two sets of this, um, rep range is six to 10. Movement number three um, is leg press. I do three working sets with this, um, rep range of 10 to 15. Uh, movement number four is walking lunges. I do two sets here. Um, I do rep range on the first one of 10 and then rep range on the second of about eight. Um, movement number five is leg extensions. I do three sets here, um, rep range of 10 to 15. Um, the last set is a double drop set. Movement number six is the hip adduction machine. I do three working sets here, rep range of 10 to 15. And then the last movement is standing calf raises. Um, I do four sets, um, rep range of 10 to 15. So then, like I said, Thursday is a rest day. Um, Friday gets into push B. Um, I already covered what you know push A was. It's the same exact as push A, um, except instead of pec deck, it's cable flies. Um, the other changes on this one is what I do on triceps. So instead of um, dip machine, I'll do um, tricep push down for the first tricep movement, three sets, um, 10 to 15 with a drop set at the end. 
And then the last movement is um, on cables, I do overhead um, cable tri tricep press. Um, so kind of mimicking a skull crusher a little bit, um, but I like using it with the cable. Um, and I do three sets there, 10 to 15, with the last set being a single drop set. Um, Saturday. Saturday is pull B, um, and this is my hamstrings and hamstrings, glutes, and back day. Let me pull it up here. All right, so the first movement is stiff leg deadlift. Um, I do two heavy sets here, um, rep range of um, six, to, six to 10. Uh, movement number two is seated hamstring curls. Uh, I do three sets here, rep range of eight to 12, with the last set being a drop set, single drop set. Um, movement number three is lying hamstring curls. Uh, three sets here, rep range of 10 to 15, with the last set being a drop set. Movement number four is getting into back. Um, this is a lat pull down with the wide grip. So that's just a, a really narrow grip. Uh, you could use the close grip, um, but if you've got the Y, that, that would be the Y um, in your gym. Um, I've got two working sets here, rep range of eight to 12. The second set is a drop set. Uh, the fifth movement is cable rows. Um, I do two sets here, rep range of eight to 12. The second set is a rest pause set. The sixth movement is high rows. This is on um, the high row machine, plate loader machine. And I'm really trying to hit the whole upper back. So, and really, really target the, the rear delts at the same time. So I really try to keep elbows, everything in line. Um, I do two sets there, rep range eight to 12, last set being a rest pause set. Um, movement number seven, this is getting into biceps. Um, I do easy bar or barbell curl. I'll do um, three sets here, rep range of 10 to 15. The last set being a drop set. Movement number eight is dumbbell hammer curls. I'll do three sets here, rep range of 10 to 15. The last set um, being a double drop set. And then the last movement here, this, this day takes a while. The last day here, or the last movement here is another um, four sets of standing calf raises. So I'll have calves on the quad stay and then um, calves here on pull B, which you know has hamstrings. So I'll do four sets, um, rep range of 10 to 15. Most of these workouts have been taken, you know, right about two hours. That pull B takes, you know, about two and a half hours. Um, but, you know, so far, this split has been absolutely killer. Um, I've been growing like an absolute weed. Obviously, you know, food has to be in place. I mean, I've been eating a truckload of food. Um, and then just got done with the health phase a few weeks ago. Um, so we are now into um, the, the push phase. So, you know, I'm back on cycle, um, all of that's in place. but. I was running this even through the health phase when I was on TRT and I was growing while on TRT with um, this split. This split is has been working incredibly well. Um, so, you know, I encourage you, um, this is a little bit more of an intermediate to advanced split. Um, you need to really, really have recovery in place for this to work, uh, but you know, give this one a shot. So, you know, you're gonna hit some things twice a week, you know, some things like quads, you're only gonna hit once a week. Uh, but everything's laid out in place to really, really maximize frequency, volume, and of course, intensity. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm going to be giving you all a full day of eating coming up here pretty soon. Um, let me know what you guys want down in the comments down below. Um, be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.